new space designed to bring Glasgow's Roma community together has been unveiled. Govan Hill has the largest Roma community in Scotland, but many live in small flats without outdoor space. Now, thanks to local activists, six picnic benches have been installed in Queen's Park so large families can enjoy meals together, as Caroline Lewis reports. For members of the Roma community, Queen's Park has long been a place to come together to share food and laughter. <laughs> but it hasn't always been the ideal spot. The problem was that people sat in the grass and the ground is usually wet, which isn't very comfortable. There wasn't a good place to have food and there wasn't anything to put your food on. But that's all changed thanks to the installation of six new picnic benches. <coughs> it's important that we can meet somewhere like this because most people live in tenement flats and they don't have access to a private garden, so meeting here is much better. Govan Hill has the largest Roma community in Scotland and large family gatherings are a part of everyday life. The Roma community is quite family orientated and we like to do everything together, sometimes in bigger numbers and some outdoor space like this, it's really good to have people just like to come together and socialize and just spend time together and have a nice time. The park's latest additions were a collaboration between local activists and the city council and one of the benches is specifically designed for wheelchair users to make sure the space is accessible for all. We've had good feedback from the community. They've come and told me they can now enjoy time with their family and spend time together in the park, sit down, relax and have some food. I'm proud as a Roma we have done something for other community members, that we were able to work together and come up with an idea and make it all happen. So while the benches may only be a small change to the landscape of Queen's Park, they'll make a big difference to how some socialise this summer. Caroline Lewis, STV News.